Hello friends, welcome to Oracle concept video series. In this video, we are going to see a very small concept, but it will be very useful concept. So the concept is, what is Oracle alternative quote operator? Let us first understand what is a quote operator. See, whenever we are using a string in Oracle, we used to mention the single quote around it, right? So for example, select welcome. Here, there is a single quote before welcome and there is a single quote after welcome. So this is the delimiter that is, this represents the where the string starts and where the string ends. Whenever we want to display a string, we need to enclose within this single quote. So obviously this will display the welcome. But what if, if there is a string something like this? It's Kiran's laptop. So now if you see there is a single quote here. Also there is a single quote here. This is part of the string what we are going to select. So we don't have to consider this as a delimiter. Instead, it should be part of the string or instead, it should be considered as a string. So suppose if I want to select this, obviously what I will do, I will just put uh, enclosed within a single quote. But how Oracle will interpret is, this is the start of the string and here is the another delimiter. So it will be treated like the string ends here. So again, there is another single quote. Here is another set. So obviously Oracle will not be able to interpret like what is called this S Kirans. So obviously it will throw an error. So to handle such scenarios, Oracle has actually provided us to create our own custom delimiter. So instead of using the single quote as the delimiter, we can define our own custom delimiter. So that's what we are going to see in this video. So here is the syntax to create our own custom delimiter. So first what we need to do is we, we have to say either capital Q or a small q followed by a single quote then we need to give any one special character you can select any special character for example if you are using a special character something like earth then you need to use the same special character at the end followed by the single quote so here is what the string whatever we want to display so in this string we can put any delimiter it can include a single quote or it can even include the at whatever it's not necessary that you have to use either at the rate or something. You can use any delimiter. For example, suppose if you are using something hash, you have to use exactly the hash here. So that's the only rule. But there are few other rules we need to follow. Something like if you are using any braces, for example, if you are using a square bracket instead of add or hash, then you need to end with the corresponding closing square bracket. Similarly, if you are using a bracket like this, then we need to end something like this. Very similar to this, if you are using this bracket, then we need to end with this. Similarly, we, if you are using this greater than less than symbol, then we need to end with this thing. So apart from that, if you are using any other special character, then you need to use exactly the same special character. So first, let me just uh, take you through the snippet from Oracle documentation. So the key thing is that you have to use either capital Q or a smaller case Q to indicate that you are using a custom delimiter. And the second thing is that so anyway, like followed by the custom delimiter that is Q, you need to give a single code and then you need to give a code delimiter. So this is nothing but your special character followed by the actual character. And finally, one point is if at all you are using any of these character, something like I told like a uh, square bracket or, or any other bracket, then you should end with the corresponding bracket. Now let me just show you a small example to understand this better. So as I mentioned, if you are executing something like this, it will work. Suppose let us take a string like, uh, let's take this string, like it's, it's Kiran's laptop, right? So suppose if you are trying to select this, let me just uh, replace the welcome with it's Kiran's laptop. Obviously we'll get an error because here the delimiter are not properly ended or closed. So instead of this, what we have to do, we can use this quote operator that is alternate quote operator. So the uh, syntax is quite simple. We need to say either capital Q or small Q followed by a single quote. Then we can use any special character. So suppose if I'm using at the rate, then we need to use the same at the rate followed by a single quote. So now if you see, it will just display as it is. Okay. Now you can ask like where exactly this will be useful. I'll, I'll show you a practical example where it will be very much helpful. So I'm just creating a table called T. 
okay with one column c of 4000 character now i want to insert all these content into this table you just see this wherever there is a database keyword it is actually enclosed with a single quote so obviously it is very difficult to now you can to go through and replace all these single quotes then parse and insert it so instead what you can do you can just use this alternate quote operator first let us try to insert exactly as it is let's say insert into t values of let me put a single quote and let me end with a single quote let me close it obviously it will throw an error because there are a lot of single quotes here and oracle doesn't know where exactly the string starts and ends so now what i'm going to do instead of single quote i'm going to use the alternate quote operator i'll say q let's say single quote followed by let me use the square bracket now in this case you need to end with square bracket and put a single quote now let me try to insert it now you can see the content is actually inserted now let us just query from this table select star from t now you will be able to see the actual content with all single quotes yeah now you should be able to see the complete content got inserted with all single quotes and whatever the special character inside the string whatever we are going to insert if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been answered as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series if you are not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview questions sql practical questions concept videos and performance tuning videos thanks a lot for watching this video